Let's say you've got a great idea, but would it work better as a podcast or a radio station? Here are four key differences between the two. So the first main difference between a radio station and a podcast is the scheduling. If you're working on a radio station, you'd be working to a clock-based schedule like this one. So this means if your listeners tune in halfway through a show, they're only hearing the last half of your program. So this is why a lot of radio presenters will reintroduce content every so often. So another key difference is the different types of audiences that you'd be appealing to. Radio stations aim at a mass audience, so they aim to cover a wide variety of topics that anybody could stumble across and find an interest in. Podcasts tend to be focused on a more niche audience. They usually focus on creating more in-depth and detailed content on a particular topic. This way, they appeal to an audience that's already actively searching for this information. For example, there's a podcast in existence called Can I Pet Your Dog, which is completely focused on dog-related news, events, and discussions. They're aiming their content towards dog lovers who would already be searching for this kind of content on the internet. Radio is a live medium, so if you make a mistake or stumble over your words, you just have to learn to get over it and move on. But because of the live nature of radio, sometimes some of the spontaneous moments that pop up can be some of the most memorable. So here's an example of when a live broadcast went wrong for the BBC. With a podcast, you eliminate the risk of making a mistake because you can edit it afterwards. You can create a nicely edited, polished piece of content, but you might miss out on those little spontaneous moments that give your piece a bit of character. Because radio is a live medium, once you finish a show, it's gone and you move on to the next thing. You might record your shows so that your listeners can listen again to them, which is great, but they probably won't want to listen to the full show again with the adverts included and song breaks. What a lot of radio stations are starting to do is condense all the best bits from a program into a bite-sized episode that's easier for the listeners to enjoy that goes out once or twice a week. For example, the Chris Evans Breakfast Show on BBC Two is quite a fun, energetic show that a lot of listeners enjoy, but they won't want to go back and re-listen to the full three hours. What they've started doing is taking all the highlights and best bits from the show and condensing those down into a 40 to 50 minute episode that makes it a little bit easier for the listeners to enjoy. So, do you like listening to live radio or podcasts? Are there any other key differences that you can think of? Let us know in the comments. For more content like this, be sure to join the radio.co newsletter at radio.co forward slash blog.